Okay guys, so I'm back with another Destiny video and today I give you guys my recommendations of what you should spend your legendary marks on come the 23rd of May 2017. But before we get into the video, if you guys want to be with a chance of winning my weekly uh, giveaway, either a Resurrectionist Emblem or a Destiny 2 Better Code, simply drop a like and comment down below. Details are on screen now, okay, so getting straight into the video and today I give you guys my recommendations of what you should buy this week and straight away there's there's basically nothing here at the Crucible Quartermaster. I mean, the event horizon's not too bad. Um, in fact, it's actually pretty good. We've got any short gaze, a perfectionist or underdog. We've got quick draw or casket mag and hidden hand. So that's a decent weapon. But everything else here is just shocking. It really is. There's nothing here, in my opinion, worth you spending your marks on. Just not in my opinion. Anyway, so what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to skip to Vanguard. Okay guys, so we're at the Vanguard Quartermaster, and again, nothing that great this week. And um, we've got a feeling guys, it's going to be one of them bad weeks. I mean, the best weapon here is probably either the Parthian Shot or the Angel's Advocate. Nothing though, in my opinion here, is a must buy. I mean, on the Parthian Shot, we've got Counterbalance, which is great. Uh, we've got Outlaw, which is also great. But Brace Frame or Rifled Barrel, to be honest, this is probably the best weapon here. I mean... You wouldn't want to use Brace Ram on this because it lowers magazine size down to about 21. But then you need stability for this to be a two burst headshot kill because if you miss one shot, it won't kill your opponent. So using Brace Ram would make sense with counterbalance. Uh, but then you've got the rifle barrel as well. So yeah, it just don't waste your marks, people. I mean, just save them and prepare for a better roll next week because that's when the best rolls come in. You mark my words. Um, but yes, guys, don't even bother. Don't bother. Okay, so the Angel's Advocate, this in my opinion is a decent scout. Uh, I've actually got a great role of this and it tears things apart within PvP. Here we have Firefly, Perfect Balance or Armor Piercing Rounds with the Life Support or Hughes Next. To be honest, I'd probably have this for a uh, PvE role. Um, Firefly, Armor Piercing Rounds and Life Support, that isn't too bad. It seriously ain't. Uh, but are you really need of a scout role for the amount on offer? In this game is unbelievable, but other than that guys, there's nothing here. There's nothing here, so we're going to skip to Dead Orbit. Okay guys, so we're at Dead Orbit, and to be honest, nothing again. Nothing again. I mean, I almost got my hopes up with the Keystone, but it's got no stability. And I've brought this with no stability before, and it just it's just uncontrollable with its balance. And it puts you off. This thing definitely needs stability. But other than that, it's great. I mean, we've got Extended Mag, we've got Outlaw. Hidden hand, but it does, guys. It seriously does need stability, so don't waste your marks on it, as you will regret it. Um, other than that, there's nothing great. This rocket launcher could have been amazing, but it ain't got tripod. If it had tripod, it would have been a must buy. Seriously, would have, but it hasn't, so yeah, save your marks again. Um, and that's it, people. Um, there's nothing here. There's nothing here at all. I mean, the Extrema Files is a good weapon, but it needs stability as well. And this one's got range finder, hammer forge. Um, extended mag. I mean, the range on this thing would be ridiculous. I mean, we've got a bit of stability here with range find. I mean, it probably ain't the worst weapon in the world, um, but in my opinion, don't even bother, people. Don't even bother. Actually, you know, actually, you know, extended mag, rodeo, and range finder could work, but at close range only. I mean, like, I've got one of these which has got a lot of stability and it's actually quite decent at range. Uh, so, yeah, but that weapon there. That is a close range weapon, without a doubt, with no stability anyway. Okay, so we're going to skip to Future Warcourt and see if they have anything decent to offer this week. Okay, so Future Warcourt this week, and to be honest, ain't nothing as a must buy right here. But if there's one weapon I'd tell you guys to spend your marks on, it would be this Wounded right here. Now the Wounded is a great weapon for PvP, it's underrated, and not many people use it. But with rolls like this, I mean, it would tear faces off. I mean, we've got a decent sight in MD Reflex. We've got a high caliber round snapshot, outlaw, perfect balance, and hidden hand. So if you used to sit back as you should do with a scout rifle within PvP, use hidden hand, outlaw, and um, high caliber round, sorry, this thing will absolutely murder things. It will, it will, it seriously will. I mean, my role I've got ain't as good as this, and it's a great, great weapon. So if you're just going to spend your marks on anything this week so far, that wounded isn't too bad. But other than that, there's nothing that great here. I mean, the Waltz needs stability. I mean, we've got counterbalance, yes, but we've got no other stability perk. And this thing seriously needs it. I mean, it's all over the place. It really is. Um, but yeah, nothing great here, guys, to be honest. Nothing at all. 
But yes, guys, uh, what we'll do now is we'll skip to New Monarchy and hopefully they have something there to offer us. Okay, guys, so we're at New Monarchy. And again, guys, nothing that great here. Nothing that great here whatsoever. Um, we've got this Assemble uh, 2, Assembly 2, sorry. Uh, on this, we have on it uh, in hand. Perfect balance and extended mag. I think extended mag takes us up to about 77 bullets, but it does really need serious stability as well. I mean, we've got perfect balance, but I don't think that quite cuts it for this weapon. Uh, but hidden hand it as well. So, at close range, this would be unstoppable. But trying to hit anybody at a spitting distance, you ain't got a chance. You really ain't. And what else we got here? I mean, there's nothing that great. I mean, the D position 7 isn't too bad. On this, we've got. Uh, ambush, we've got any quick draw or high caliber rounds, we've got small ball or triple tap with hidden hand, so that's a quite decent sniper. Not the worst, but um, do you really need a sniper rifle? They might not have been on the offer, it's crazy. But other than that, guys, there's nothing that great right here. I would say this free will 3 is okay, but the range as standard is so bad it's unbelievable. But we have got range finder and hammer forge, but yeah, the whole archetype of this actual hand cannon I think is completely pointless within this game. Especially when you can get hand cannons like the IS Loon and the Palindrome, it's just completely pointless. But guys, that is it for another video. Um, nothing that great here this week, to be honest, at all. Probably the wound is the best weapon so far. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do smash that like button, I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Destiny if you're new around here. Hit that bell button next to that subscribe button if you never want to miss a video of mine, because you will receive email notifications. And I will, as always, guys, see you on that next one.